Hello viewers, in the previous class we discussed the mixed salts, ok? So before that already we discussed the simple salts, acidic salts and basic salts also and here last type of salts that is double salt and complex salts we are going to discuss in this lecture, ok? So let us start with double salts. What is a double salt? A salt which is formed by the combination of two simple salts, ok? A salt which is formed by the combination of two simple salts is called as a double salt okay already we discussed about simple salts you can go through that video if you have any doubt what is a simple salt okay see now let us discuss with some examples carnalite okay carnalite is a double salt so it is formed by the combination of kcl and mgcl2 okay it is a simple salt it is another simple salt and when these two combine the formed salt is a double salt and that is called as carnalite okay and another salt Morse salt so it is formed by ferrous sulfate and ammonium sulfate okay it is ferrous sulfate a simple salt ammonium sulfate another simple salt okay the salt formed by these two simple salts is a double salt and that is called as Morse salt okay and next one is potash alum it is formed by the combination of potassium sulfate plus aluminium sulfate okay potassium sulfate plus aluminium sulfate and the formed salt is called as potash alum okay so what is a double salt a salt which is formed by the combination of two simple salts is called as a double salt okay clear next let us discuss complex salts a complex salt means a salt whose solutions does not give test for the constituent ions is called as complex salt okay so let us see this example first one potassium ferricyanide okay see here if it is dissolved in water we get potassium ions and a complex ion okay potassium ions and complex ion here how this salt is formed? It is formed by the combination of potassium, iron and cyanide ions. Okay. So now, what is the complex salt? A salt whose solutions does not give test for the constituent ions. What are the constituent ions? Actually, it is formed by the combination of K plus, Fe plus 3 plus Cn minus okay so it is formed by the combination of three different ions this salt now when it is dissolved in water it dissociate into this form it will give potassium ions and a complex ion okay so now if you want to test how which type of ion is present or if you want to test for the ions presence of these ions we get only test for the Potassium ions only. Test for iron ion and cyanide ion we cannot get. What is the reason? This does not dissociate into the constituent ions in normal conditions because it is very stable. Okay, in normal conditions it is stable so that's why it does not dissociate into Fe plus 3 and 6 Cl minus ions. So that's why we cannot get test for these two ions. Only we get test for the potassium ion only okay those are test for the ion cations and anions we discuss in the latter classes that is the salt hydrolysis there we discuss clearly test for the ions okay only here what is the complex salt that you should understand okay a salt which does not give test for the constituent ions okay what is the reason some of the ions that does not dissociate into the constituent ions that exist in the form of a complex ion, a stable one. Okay, next, another example, potassium ferrocyanide. So it will give 4 K plus ions plus FeCn6 4 minus. Okay, see, this one also, here also, it is giving potassium ions and a complex ion. Actually, how it is formed? It is formed by the combination of K plus ion, Fe plus 2 ion and Cn minus ions. Okay, means definitely if you want to test how which type of ions are present or if you want to test the presence of iron and Cn minus, we cannot get the test for these two ions. Only we get the test for potassium ions only. What is the reason? Again, 
here this is a complex ion more stable one and it does not dissociate into the constituent ions in the normal conditions okay that's why we cannot get test of fe plus 2 ion and test for the cyanide ion okay this is about the classification of salts in the next class we are going to discuss salt hydrolysis